So I've just been to Horsham and I've had my eyebrows tinted because it's cheaper having them done in Horsham, but I, they're quite ferocious. <laughs> Um, my mother finds this hysterical. What do you think? Well, I think it looks rather funny to tell you the truth. Morning. Open the boot, please. Oh yeah. What did he say? <laughs> and open the boot. That looks good. Would he? Yeah. I've cooked it well. I hate the top of the egg left wall more. You could have eaten two of those. No, I only want one, thank you. You've finished now, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you'd let me film you eating your lunch. Well, if you don't soon get rid of it, I'll be. <laughs> oh. Is that what they do it for? Because some people share. You never let me share. No, you have your own if you want to. Yeah, I, <laughs> Can't I just have a spoonful? No, no, keep picking at mine. See, she won't even let me have one spoonful no, of ice cream. No, you own if you want it or leave mine alone. Oh, so me. So perhaps some people do share then. Well, yes, it's human nature to share. Oh, I hate people picking at my stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading? I'm reading this Adam Henson. You know the chap that comes on TV on Let me Sundays. have a look. Adam Henson. Mm. Very interesting. You, you'd you enjoy reading. It's, he's like you, mad about dogs. What do we need? Oh, wait a minute. I've got to get my two pound. I have two pound. Because my hands are bad. I have this two pound easy access in the purse for the tip at the end. See, see, it goes like that and I can't stop it. See, this is in Horsham. They get a two pound tip in London. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> don't be from. <laughs> um, everything's here and we don't pay as much for the hair. How much is your hair? How much does your hair cost? 25 pound. And for what? That's for a blow dry wash and a cut. So tell me what your issue is with bra straps. I can't stand it when the blouse is all like this. Like this. I think <laughs> nothing looks worse, look, like that. So if you've got it up like that, it looks the way it's supposed to be. But if your bra, if you've got a clean bra... I am not dropping my standards because of the silly modern ideas. If they like their bra strap shown all right, but I don't. Do you know what I've decided? No. Is to have a facelift. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I think I've got to do something. It's about time. I've just, I seem, it all seems oh, to have just... Don't join that silly brigade, I'll see. <laughs> You'll stand. It makes the face too tight looking and it also changes its natural angle. I've got to do something, to be honest, Mark. It's just something oh, that's... Oh, I sake. don't know what's happening. I'm getting all these jowls and I don't know whether well, to have... Well, everyone does when they reach your age. Well, no, not everyone does. I interview people who don't have all this well, no, business. It's all, it's all to do, actually, with bone structure. You know, the bone... Well, then mine seems to have gone because this, all these are jowls. They call these marionette. Oh. Marionette uh, lines. I've heard that you should keep your face up like this. If you look at models, they always look up. They well, we look up because we're so short. Face when I go. But no, but we have to look up because we're too short, to be quite honest. Yes, but I don't when I'm sitting down or anything like that. What? Look up. Right, right, what you do know, you... Like this, I sit like that, where you remember to sit up straight, like this. But, I mean... Having no, a facelift is absolutely ridiculous. I think it costs too much to be quite honest, but I might just have some I might have some fillers. I think the best to do is not think about what your face looks like and then it doesn't worry well you. People think too much about what they Yeah, but it's like. difficult. If you're on television, you're shown in high definition. I'm now shown a lot of how awful I look because I'm on television from time to time and I know it's not all about me, but I look so old. Yeah, but the point is you've been on it so long now. They all know you're old anyway. So. <laughs> Hello Eileen, it's Ben Fogel oh, here. I am with your lovely daughter Jo. Did you know my grandmother was called Aileen and my aunt was called Eileen, so I feel an affinity. Now listen, I've said to Jo, we've got to have a cup of tea together. Um, I have been told by Little Birdie, who might be behind this camera, that you've been following my shows. I feel very touched Aww. and I want to share some more of those stories with you. So big kiss. 
I'll oh, meet you for a cup of tea. Oh, kiss to you, Ben. Oh, I say, when did you meet him then? On one of your shows? On the show, yes. Oh, my goodness me. Actually, a beautiful tree. Half the trees are gone. Yes. I thought I might go out, Mutty, yeah. and, um, and sweep up some leaves. Oh, yeah, that would be good. But I mean, be careful with the plants at the side. Yes, because you like it done your way, don't you? Oh, yeah, of course I like it done my way. I've put many years of work in that garden. How many years do you think you've put in that garden? And it's a collection. 40. 40 years. Yeah. And it's a collection of, um, well, lots of different. It's a collection of your father's plants are in there, aren't they? Well, yeah, and lots of other people's. I mean, you know, shrubs in memory like that. Those pink roses you can see, that's Sheila's in memory of Sheila. Your sister. Yeah. And, and uh, Flossie the cat's buried down there. Yeah, and then there's Peggy's. Bush. Peggy's bush. I haven't bought any shoes with me. Do you mind if I wear your shoes? What shoes? So your shoes, because what well, some shoes? Because I haven't got. I've got a pair out of your wardrobe that are size these. These oh, those. You can yes. wear those, you mean? Yes. Oh yes, you can keep. Those. I think there are three and a half. You walk miles up the stairs, Mutz. Yeah. I'm just I showed us the wrong end. We were shown the wrong end, so we walked up so many stairs to get here. This isn't in focus because we've just got in the car after the pantomime and we loved it. It was the best we've seen in was, Horsham even. It was the best even in Horsham that yeah, we've seen. Yeah, really good. Cool. Our, our dilemma now is, oh my gosh, these lights, is uh, Matilda may well have eaten <laughs> every toilet roll in the house. No, she won't. She hates this when we leave it. Um, no, but she'll be quiet when we go in. Well, she might have done it as long as she hasn't eaten everything. probably get a photo of her in the chair asleep <laughs> Well, let's hope we get a photograph of her in the chair asleep. Anyway, it was a good panto. Really good, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right, home.